This video series is brought to you by Dunleary Ratdown Libraries in association with Mark the Science Guy and supported by the Dormant Accounts Fund. The resources used throughout this series are part of the SFI Discover Primary Science and Maths programme and is Aero Ireland. Hey everyone and welcome back to the STEAM Lab. I hope you're ready to do some more fun investigations with us and remember to try out the activities and make your own discoveries. Today I've been cleaning up the lab and moving a lot of things about and it's got me thinking about the laws of motion and the forces that are needed to move things. So big forces are needed to move big things and little forces are needed to move smaller things. So speaking of big forces, I've been having some trouble moving this one. I'm gonna call Ali and let's see if this works, okay? It works! Oh, oh hey Mark. Hey Ali. Oh, I'm really dizzy after that. Can you give me a bit of warning before you teleport me next Sorry time? Sorry about that. I've a few adjustments to make. Oh, I don't like when I feel dizzy. You okay? Oh, Sit down, relax. Okay. I feel queasy when I'm dizzy. I don't like feeling Let's dizzy. Let's not talk about it. Let's not yeah. talk about Actually, it. Actually, that's pretty interesting. I've been just talking about the laws of motion, so I know one of those laws of motion can help explain why you feel dizzy. Can it help if it stops? Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's, let's do it. <laughs> let's investigate why you feel dizzy. Okay. Well, clean up a bit before we get started anyway. Right. That was a really, really heavy box. I've been, I've been working out. Yeah, I think so. Okay, well forces are needed to make things move. You need big forces to make big things move, and only smaller forces to make the smaller things move. Forces are everywhere around us. They shape how we move and how the world moves. And a force is a push or a pull. You need some sort of push or pull in order to get things moving. And there are three laws of motion described by Isaac Newton, a scientist that lived about 300 years ago. And those laws describe the motions of things and how they interact. And today we're going to look at Newton's First law of motion. Ali, I have a challenge that Ooh. I want people to try out. Cool, okay. okay. okay like a challenge. Call my Newton's first law of motion challenge Ooh. or the law of inertia Ooh. challenge. Okay, inertia. for this, you will need some coins. So coins of all the same size. Okay. And Ooh, you I'm can rich. use then, <laughs> it's your life savings, Ali. It, it is, how'd you get a hold of this? <laughs> well, you guys keep, stop keeping your money under your pillow in a cup. Now, you will also need a, a ruler or a postcard or a card, but investigate and try out different things and see what works. The challenge is you're going to make a stack of coins. So we're going to use about 20 coins yeah. and you're going to stack them up in a vertical pile. And here is the challenge. We want you to try and remove the bottom coin without touching the other coins. Ooh. That is your challenge. And here is how you can do it. So we're going to use a ruler. In fact, Ali, you're going to use a ruler. Whew. I know how you love this law of inertia challenge. Yeah. Okay, Ready? here we go. Nice! Yeah. <laughs> good, good job. Thank you, thank very you. Cool. Try this at home. It's very, very fun. So as you've seen, Ali applied a force to the bottom coin, but didn't apply a force to any of the other coins. And as we've said, in order to get something moving, it must feel a force. So you only gave a force to the bottom coin, so that's the one that went flying. The other coins didn't feel a force, so they just stayed where they were and gradually just pulled it back down onto the table. Because that's what Newton's first law of motion tells us, that if something is not moving, it will remain not moving until it experiences a force. That was pretty cool. It's a nice trick, but Ali, I've got another trick for okay, you as well. Cool, okay, cool. Okay, so as we know, behind all magic is science. So here I have my card trick ready. Okay, so Ali, pick a card, any card. Mm, Not that card. Uh, this one. Okay, okay. And brilliant. Ali, was this your card? Yes. That's not the trick. Okay. okay, what we want you to do this time, another inertia challenge. We want you to uh, make a half a stack and put the card in the middle of the stack. So you're gonna make a, ha take half the coins off, put the card in the middle, Ooh. put the stack back on top. And now the challenge is to try and remove the card without touching or moving any of the other coins. Ali, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, okay here we go. Let's give it a go. 
Nice! Okay, sweet! That is a challenge of for you. Okay, that was pretty cool. Again, all thanks to Newton's first law of motion. You gave a force to the card. You didn't give a force to the coin, so all the coins stay where they are. The card shoots out. The top stack just feels that only force of gravity pulling it back down. Yeah, the card's gone. I don't think we're ever going to find that it's card again. Heart. Oh. Seven of hearts. See you later. Oh. Out of here. Still flying off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but the force is going to yeah. keep moving. Well, exactly, because Newton's first law of motion also says that if something is already moving, it will continue to keep moving until it experiences a force. That was pretty cool, and there's many real life examples of Newton's first law of motion as well. Have you ever been on a bus and the bus yes. is moving along nice and fast and you're standing? You know, you have been there. Yes. Thanks for confirming you have been on. A Maybe someone of you guys have also been on a bus. And the bus stops and you fall oh, forward. Oh, yeah. And yeah. You, you bump into someone and they're like, what are you doing? And you're like, really man, sorry, inertia. Inertia. It's inertia. Don't blame me. Blame Isaac Newton. And then they give you that weird, strange look. Yeah, it's like, and they move slowly away. Yeah, really. move slowly away. Isaac Newton is not on the bus. No. No. So you can tell that you and the bus were moving and the bus suddenly stopped. And as we've learned from Newton's first law of motion, that you will continue to keep moving. So the tendency of things to keep moving if they're already moving and the tendency of things to stay at rest if they are at rest. Also, roller coasters. Oh, love roller coasters. I'm not really a fan. You're not a fan? No, not really. You love a roller coaster. No. <laughs> Actually, so I like roller coasters that are fast. Ones that make me dizzy, like you were dizzy earlier. I'm oh. not a big fan of those. But I love the ones that are still and then they just shoot Ooh. off and you, you feel your kind of hell head and everything just go yeah, you get whiplash yeah Newton's first law of motion the law of inertia both you and the roller coaster were not moving at rest and the roller coaster suddenly takes off but you try to stay not moving and you feel that force but then the roller coaster takes you with it for Ooh. a fun and thrilling ride yeah and rotating objects also show inertia mm. have you ever thought about what would happen if a hamster was running on its wheel and it just stopped suddenly never mind a hamster ali what about a mark the wheel keeps moving and i or the hamster goes along with it oh i feel dizzy after that <laughs> Okay, Ali, we have another challenge oh, that we're going to do. Oh, full of challenges. Yeah, full of challenges. Another inertia challenge. We are going to whip the tablecloth off the table. It's going to help us clean up. Yeah, okay. We're going to show you the science behind the whipping the tablecloth off the table trick. Again, all thanks to Isaac Newton. Okay, what you need for this challenge. You will need a tablecloth, which doesn't have any kind of hem or stitching on the Very edges. Very important. Nice smooth fabric, not too many fancy stitching designs in the middle. Mm. Then you're gonna need some stuff to put on your tablecloth. So we've got like a plate, bowl, cup. Recommend that when you're starting to try this trick, yeah. you use stuff that's not gonna break. Yeah, and preferably use uh, other people's plates and dishes too. Maybe a friend's plates and dishes, yeah. just in case. And uh, maybe try like on carpet, just in case things do go yeah. south. It requires a little bit of practice. Yeah. And yeah. Ali, I know you've been practicing. I have, yep. You wanna go for it? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, okay. at this moment, the dishes and the plates are not moving. As we've learned from Newton's first law of motion, they will remain not moving unless they experience a force. But Ali is going to whip the tablecloth off so fast, just like the card in the stack of coins. It's going to whip off and leave the plates and the dishes intact. That's the hope. Hopefully. Okay. Don't give any force to the plates and dishes, just the tablecloth. And we're ready. We're going to pull very fastly down not outwards. That's very important as well. Okay. Ali, yeah. I believe in you. Okay. As I also believe in science. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, yes! Woo! Nice! Thank you. <laughs> That's your celebratory hat. Yes. You kind of look like Newton there for a second. Oh. You know, his, his curl. I want to take this up a level. Okay. 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 Let's investigate the law of inertia a little bit more. Okay. For this, you will need... A glass, Ooh. the sleeve of a matchbox, or a toilet roll tube will do just fine. You'll need a postcard, an orange, and some water. Some water. Okay, awesome. That's what you'll need. Now, let's set it up. Okay, so we're going to pour excellent. some water inside our glass. Oh, excellent. Just to help weigh it down a little bit. Okay, because heavier things are harder to get moving 
the lighter things. Okay, we're gonna take our postcard. Okay. Pop it nice on top. Nice postcard too. Yeah, it is nice, isn't yeah. it? Uh, your matchbox sleeve on top of that. And then your orange. It's getting very tall all of Yes, a it is. Your orange on top of that. Okay, the aim here is to get the orange to fall directly downwards into the glass. And the way to do that is to make sure that the orange doesn't feel any forces. Mm -hmm. So let's build on what we've learned to try and get that orange directly into the glass. Ali, you've been on an absolute roll here. Oh God. I think you're ready. Okay. Let's ramp this up a notch. Okay, the okay. law of inertia challenge. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> the question is whether you're ready. Yes! yes! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh, as you've Ooh. seen, the orange was not moving. It didn't experience the force, so it remained not moving, and then gravity pulled it directly downwards into the, gra the glass. <laughs> Ali, that was cool, but I really want to take Newton's law of inertia to the max. Let's apply everything we've just done and take Newton's first law of motion to the absolute max. Okay, okay, okay. I'm bringing the tablecloth back in. Okay. Like, Caution, I'm bringing the tablecloth <laughs> back in. Okay. Okay. Okay, the tablecloth is in position. Okay. We know this trick. This time, you will need three similar glasses and you're gonna set them up in a triangular pattern just like this. Then, you're gonna fill them with water, okay? And just to make kind of things look cool, we want people to get creative. So we thought it'd be nice to uh, put some food coloring into the glasses just to spice things up a little spice bit Spice them well. up a so little bit. What colors you got for me, Ali? Oh, I've got lots of different colors. I think okay. today we're gonna go with maybe some green. Green, excellent. Okay. I'll give a little stir. I'm okay. gonna go for some. So we've got some green. Red. Excellent. Okay, and let's get some red in some there. Maybe some blue. Let's get some blue as well. Awesome. Okay, oh, that's nice. They are vibrant They're colors. They're nice, aren't they? Yes. Now that you have your glasses in place, you're going to get a tray just like this one. Mm. Okay, now, just like the last time, we used a postcard, so use whatever is just bigger to cover the glasses. So we're gonna use a big tray in this one. Then we are going to put toilet roll tubes directly over the glasses. We got some big long ones just you now to make it cooler, but you can use the smaller ones too. Now the important thing here, and we're gonna double, triple check, is that the toilet roll tubes are directly over the glasses. Let's get some angles going here. Uh -huh. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty Let's good. Check from the front. Okay. I found seven hearts. Okay. Yes? Yeah, I think we're pretty good. Excellent. Okay. okay, and instead of oranges this time, we're gonna take this up a notch. Instead of oranges, we're going to use eggs yeah. and raw eggs at that. A little bit riskier than the oranges. Yes. Just like the orange, we want to make sure that the eggs don't feel any force. We're going to hopefully knock the tray out of position. That will take the toilet roll tubes with it. The eggs won't have felt any force and should do drop directly down into the glass. Good. To make things a little more challenging, we're also going to try and remove the tablecloth from the table. Newton's law of inertia to the absolute max. Okay. Ali, you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one. Yes! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> ah! Oh my god! Oh yes! Okay, well, there are also very real life applications of Newton's law of inertia, like seat belts. So, we're going to investigate now the importance of wearing a seat belt. It's time to build our egg mobile. For this, you will need an egg carton, four bottle tops, two straws, an elastic band, a sharp pencil. And then either some clay or some little toy figures. Yeah, passengers for your egg mobile. Okay, first thing you gotta do is cut your egg carton in half. Uh -huh. uh, we painted ours so you can decorate it and paint it if you want Definitely. to. Design your own car, make it funky. Next thing you're gonna need to do is attach your wheel axles. They're gonna be your straws. Mm -hmm. So with your sharp pencil, you're going to poke a hole through the bottom of your egg mobile and push it all the way through to the other side. Make sure the hole is big enough that your straw can fit through. OK. 
Okay. So you're going to do that at the front and again at the back because we're making a four wheeled vehicle. Yes, we are. Push your straws through the holes that you just made. So you'll have a wheel axle at the back cool. and a wheel axle at the front. That's pretty cool already. Yeah, you can see you've taken shape. Yeah. Okay, so next thing you got to do is attach your wheels. So easiest way to do this is just to glue your bottle tops onto the ends of your straws like that. If your straws are too long, just give them a little trim before you attach your wheels on like that. You have your Eggmobile. All you need then is passengers for your Eggmobile. Yeah, okay. so we're going to use two little robots. Yes, we are. Okay, and what we're going to do is you're going to make sure that one of your passengers yeah. is wearing a seatbelt. Okay. The other passenger will not be wearing a seatbelt. Very we're bad idea. And we're going to see why. Between the two. Okay, so we have two passengers. You can also use like Lego men or clay men or yeah. whatever you want. So. I guess, Ali, one of these has got to be me and one of these has got to be you. Well, funny you should say that because I do have little mini Ali and little mini Mark. Mini Mark and mini right Ali. Okay. So which colour would you like? Um, I will go uh, with red. Okay, perfect. So you can okay. stick mini Mark's face onto the okay. red robot. And, and put mini Ali's face. There we go. We have okay. a mini Mark. Now we got to decide which of us is wearing a seatbelt. And which of us isn't? Yes. That's not good. Okay, rock, paper, scissors, four, oh. wearing seatbelt. Oh, okay, okay. So who, whoever wins gets to wear the seatbelt. Yes. Okay. okay. So Ready? rock, paper, scissors, go. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Just as in, as in, as in rock, paper, scissors, go. Yeah. Okay, ready? Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, go. Oh, <laughs> Maddie Mark's wearing yes. the seatbelt. Okay. Ah, you get the seatbelt. Okay, so to show you how Mark is going to sit mm -hmm. into the seatbelt, you're going to use your elastic band. Think of your elastic band like the seatbelt in your car. So we're going to wrap it around Mini Mark's waist a few times just to okay. make sure it's nice and tight yes. and secure. Make sure I'm secure. Right? And then you're going to bring it over his shoulder much like your seatbelt right. you're in an actual car. Mm -hmm. So you'll sit Mark into the Eggmobile and then loop the free end of your elastic band around this centre post. And that's hopefully going to keep you nice and safe okay as for mini ali ah the outlook's not so good ali is it but that's not what we're going great. to test we're going to test the importance of wearing a seat belt and investigate newton's law of inertia ali that looks absolutely awesome very cool yeah okay mini mark and mini ali are in position okay let's see what would happen if the eggmobile hits a wall we're going to use the power of air to launch our eggmobile really fast and investigate what happens when it hits the wall. Time to launch our Eggmobile and see how Mini Mark and Mini Ali get on. Let's see what our old friend Isaac Newton has to say about it. Oh no! Where's Ali? Ali? Where is Ali going? Ali, oh my god, she's off around! More importantly, how's Mark doing? Did that work? Yes, Mark is still in the vehicle. The car is destroyed though. Well, that did not end well for Mini Ali. No, she's gone to a better place now. Yeah, so as you've seen, the car was moving so fast, Ali was not strapped into the vehicle. The vehicle came to a very abrupt stop, and Ali continued on her journey. Straight into the wall, didn't she? But Mini yeah. Mark, though, he stayed nicely he stayed in place. Nicely that seatbelt really mm. did save his yeah. bacon. So you can see the importance of wearing a seatbelt. Mm. Ali, what if we try eggs. Oh no! The seatbelt worked and Mini Ali is A-OK. -okay. Unfortunately, Mark didn't quite make it. The following images may shock and disturb you, viewers of a nervous disposition. Look away now. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. So you can see the importance of a seatbelt, and that's Newton's law of inertia in action. And Ali, that also explains earlier why you are feeling dizzy. Oh. Inside your ear, there are three tubes, and the fluid inside the tubes spins around when you're spinning around. But when you stop, that fluid keeps spinning, and your brain thinks your body's still moving, and you feel oh, dizzy. Makes sense. Mm. Okay, Ali, I think we have to combine all of what we've learned into a new game, the Dizzy Challenge. Oh, the Dizzy Challenge. This is the Dizzy Challenge. The aim of the game is to be the first person to get your three eggs into the glasses, whip out the tablecloth, and win the coveted trophy. But 
To make things trickier, in between each go, you'll have to run around this pole three times, getting dizzier each time. First to lift the trophy wins. You ready? Let's do it. Okay. okay. Competitors, ready! Ready! Okay. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for joining us at the STEAM Lab today. Remember, you can download the fun hands-on activities from the SFI Discover Primary Science and Matt's website, primaryscience.ie. There are loads of different investigations on there suitable for a range of different ages, different parts of the curriculum, and most importantly, they're all really, really fun. See you next time, guys. I gotta sit down, I'm dizzy. Oh, my Lord. This video series is brought to you by Dunleary Ratdown Libraries in association with Mark the Science Guy and supported by the Dormant Accounts Fund. The resources used throughout this series are part of the SFI Discover Primary Science and Maths Programme and Azero Ireland.